What is up YouTube? Today I got a quick video and of course you can tell by the title it's how to bypass your seatbelt chime not just on the STI or the WRX but really on other Subarus as well. Now hear me out. Before you get on me about seatbelts and safeties, yes, wear your seatbelts at all times. I do that. So this isn't about driving dangerously or being reckless but it is for number one, if you run a harness and instead of having one of those seatbelt uh, buckle dummies that you just, I guess, plug it in or if you found it annoying enough, like me, where if you're moving the car down the street or just in and out of the driveway or literally just driving across the street to get some mail, I don't know, whatever your reason is, this might be helpful because I found it annoying enough for me and I chose to do something about it. So, here's how you do it. First of all, let me show you what I'm talking about. As you can see, the car's on, my seatbelt is not on, and the light is on. Now, the car's not moving yet, so of course there's no chime. So let me show you what happens when you start driving and I'm sure you already know what I'm talking about, but let me demonstrate. Okay, so I'm going 20 kilometers an hour, seatbelts go in. Of course, if I buckle it, no problems. At a certain point, it actually gets louder, like that. Okay. Now let's say, okay, down the street, I'm actually, this is where I'm gonna park the car. The car is at a stop. Neutral, handbrakes on, it doesn't stop until you shut off the car. And that's the part that really annoyed me because if you're in a parking lot, let's say you're driving around without your seatbelt and you manage to find a spot to park down, it won't stop unless you shut off the car. So here's what you wanna do. First, put your car in accessory mode, whether you have push button start or an actual key, just put in accessory mode. Okay. And what you want to do is, I don't know the exact number, but basically you want to buckle and unbuckle your seatbelt. I do it 30 times in 30 seconds. So, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay. And then what you're gonna do is shut off the car, completely shut it off, and then turn it back on. So you're still gonna get the chime when you start the car, but let's see about the seatbelt chime, okay? Seatbelt is still off. Again, I'll go the same speed as before. 20 kilometers an hour. And as you can see, the light is gone and there's no chime. Problem solved. So give it a shot 30 times in 30 seconds. Before I end this video, I forgot to mention it's a beautiful day. I still don't know if I can consider it spring, but I'm considering it spring weather. So I washed the car. The car hasn't been washed in probably four months. It was disgusting, but now I can wash it. It's all clean. I know most of you are probably the same where Hopefully you can't stand a dirty car because it just doesn't look nice. So I'm, I'm feeling good. I feel good that the car's clean, makes my heart happy. Again, I'm not trying to say you should drive without a seatbelt. I'm gonna repeat it again. It's just so if you're running a harness or you've run into that situation that I described enough times where it's really annoying, then give it a shot. And some of you may already know this trick. Some of you may not. Hopefully this helps. I didn't make this video sooner because I had it done literally the day we pick up the STIs when I did that because I knew it would be annoying. But since I disconnected the battery recently, the computer reset, so now I can do it again. And before I do it, I thought I'd make it on video so you guys can see it. Anyways, hopefully that was helpful. And until next time, we'll see you on the next one.